Hi, I'm Dr. Emma from Simple Physical Literacy. If you're new to retain primitive reflexes, please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the button below and get some background information by watching the retained primitive reflex video. Today we have the Morrow reflex in a nutshell. The Morrow reflex is the first reflex to emerge in utero and should be suppressed or integrated when a baby is about three months. We know that primitive reflexes are there for an infant survival. So if when a baby is born, they don't naturally take their first breath, by stimulating them, you will elicit a moral response. And that's what rubbing the baby or patting them on the bottom is for. They flail their arms and legs wide. The arms and legs come back over the body in a protective mechanism, accompanied by a sharp intake of breath, and it activates the breathing centers. The moral responds to any of the senses so a, a sudden light, a sudden noise, a sudden smell like smoke, taste, touch to pain or temperature, a sudden loss of balance, a change in the vestibular or proprioceptive will elicit the morrow response. And in a doctor or nurse's office, they do check for the morrow by pulling a little tiny baby age six weeks up, get their head to drop below the level of their spine. And uh, when they drop them, the arms and legs flail out and they take the intake of breath. But they don't check to see has the morrow gone away or has it been suppressed or integrated. Why not? Because actually a retained morrow reflex has a big impact on a child. The morrow kids are overreactive, oversensitive, become overwhelmed easily, overloaded, overwrought, over everything. This fight or flight response fires off the amygdala, cortisol and adrenaline spike, and if these children are in a constant state of this over, they can have asthma, allergies, adrenal fatigue, anything that accompanies these um, shoot up in stress hormones. In a classroom setting, you can spot a morrow kid. Every noise, every sound, every bird that flies past, every light, everything just stimulates the child. They're scanning for danger all the time. And in the jungle, scanning for danger was good. But in a classroom, when a child has been asked to focus, it becomes a problem. The noise at the back of the classroom, the pencil drops, the no smell of somebody's soup wafting by, a chompy chompy neighbor eating their lunch, their uniform is too itchy, and the fluorescent lights, that tiny flicker and the tiny hum of the fluorescent lights can have a real impact on Morrow kids. Same with um, blue light. They seem to be particularly sensitive to blue light and all screens are backlit with blue light. So it's one to watch um, children with this retained moral reflex and screen time. They have a difficulty filtering out all the peripheral stimuli that's going on. So they can often be labeled as ADHD, but they're not attention deficit. They're hyper attentive. It's this scanning. They don't like to go upside down. They don't often like to engage in, in playground games because they become overwhelmed very easily. So life can be quite difficult for them. How can we help? The Morrow exercises are easy to do and they're the first ones that should be done if you're thinking about doing any primitive reflex exercises. The Morrow reflex actually happens when the contralateral right arm, left leg goes above. So the exercise to integrate it is when the child will lie backwards and slowly they'll come up and put right and right above. They'll open like a starfish, come up and put left and left above, left arm and left leg. Each round should take about seven seconds. It would be really useful if a child did that 10 times, um, 10, 10 rounds, three times a day and you would see huge improvements if a child were to commit to that much. Going upside down on a trapeze, going over the side of a couch as well, will really help to integrate the moral reflex too. And you'll see huge improvements in your child if you really commit to doing these exercises. In the meantime, go to www.simplephysicalliteracy.com for more information. Register for the home program, which will give you all the exercises to integrate the reflexes and keep moving and keep well.